Hello everyone! Welcome to a first for my channel. We are having a mod release today. So, over the past few days, I have been working on a mod that comes in two versions. I'll explain why in a moment. And that mod is known as the Wardrobe Mod, or just the Wardrobe, you know, Wardrobe Department. Not unlike in, you might find in some kind of, say, in some kind of uh, a theatre or play establishment. Quite what they're called, I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, as it says, this is used for juggling skins and usernames, especially with regards to the manufacturing of machinima, the making of videos inside of video games. Now, I've made a fair few videos in Minecraft, believe it or not, and the most, like, tremendously irritating thing is that for more or less every character, you have to have a skin so that they look appropriate, and most of the time you even have to have an account with the right username. Now that was alleviated in more recent years when you became able to change the usernames of different accounts, but you only are able to do so once every 30 days, and it has to be a username that is not already taken. And then the skin server has its own kind of issues, because it is tremendously slow and unreliable a lot of the time. So you can be, like, waiting on the skin servers to be updating for about hours. Like, that's not uncommon in my experience. So I thought I'd turn my hand to trying to get some kind, of, some kind of simple mod that would enable it that you could have an entire wardrobe department of characters full of skins and usernames, all custom tailored and available instantaneously as you boot your client. And that's what the wardrobe mod does. So, if I type in wardrobe, and I actually give it something else, then we have a list of eight configured costumes. Now, there is a config file that comes with this mod, and in that you enter the names, the details of the different costumes you want to have. So, in this case, I have Dave, Gar, Lying, Nipty, Peculiars 1 and 2, Duncan, and Hector. And I also have attached to here a resource pack. Skin test. Don't mind the pure beady crap thing, I just kind of like... I hacked it together. Uh, and that contains the skins that are actually used with this mod. As an example, let's go with... Wearing Dave. Everyone remembers Dave, right? Chaos Bill? That thing? From ages ago? Yeah, let's look, let's look like Dave for a second here. So now, I appear to be Dave Chaos. In fact, there are limitations. Um, so, if I go to here, we can see I have my fist, I look like Dave, I even sound like Dave. Hello, this is Dave Chaos, reviewing a new Minecraft mod on this video. Uh, <laughs> and I can change it around whatever, so for example, I can actually change, as it says here, the particle effect that we see when I changed. So, particle... I can turn it to false, so that we no longer actually get it to show at all. Uh, even help if I should put that in the right. There we go. And let's see, let's uh, let's get a more familiar skin on, shall we? There we go. No particle effects. The particle effects were just like, you can change this up so that it looks nicer when you, for example, need a character to change their skin on camera. So a good example of that that we can play here with is... Night Peculiar from yeah, from the Yorks cast series Shadow of Israfel. Finishing never, but now you can pretend. So in the course of Shadow of Israfel, Night Peculiar Night Old Peculiar became Night Peculiar. And now we can do that change instantaneously in game. Now I'm currently just using the client version here. The server version does also change what your username renders as in chat and it changes everyone's view of you on the server, but of course that has to be on an actual modded server for 1.8. There is, consequently, a client-side version, and here's where we discuss the differences between the versions. So, if you happen to be on a Minecraft server that is not in fact 1.8, uh, you can stick in the client-side version, and you'll be able to get access to all of these features, more or less without any kind of concern. Let's go to Need More Coffee. So here we have Need More Coffee, currently inside of Ravine Town and Undermine. Undermine is an unmodded 1.8 server. So if we pull up our list again, we can see we still have access to everybody. And if I, let's see, wardrobe set 
And let's go with Duncan. Need more coffee. We now have Lalna roaming around. And that means you can now do this on any server. So for example, you could do this on a UHC map. You could do this on a survival game, a Hunger Games. You could do this on a map, a world like this, which is just a regular old patron server. Now, the limitations are, when you're only using the client-side version, is that uh, the change is not reflected on anyone else's screen, and additionally, it is only uh, persistent as long as a given person is within render distance. So if I go far enough away, need more coffee over here, will revert to their actual skin. It also does not affect the uh, tab menu, it does not affect your chat, but if you want those features, use the, you, you can use the server version instead. So that is the wardrobe mod enabling you access to an immediate catalogue of your choosing of different skins. Hope you've enjoyed, you can find download links in the description, and I'll catch you all next time.